Hey guys, so I know it's been quite a while since my first and last video that I filmed, but I promise you I have an excuse. I have been sick with pneumonia for, I'd like to say, basically since my last video, or my first video, I've had pneumonia and I've just been really busy with, you know, school because I'm taking like three APs and teachers are just piling on the work. But anyways, I decided that I would do the um, TMI tag. I haven't been tagged, but I figured that it would probably be a good way just for you guys to get to know a bit about me um, because I don't think my intro really gave you that much information. Okay, so question one is what are you wearing? I am wearing a top from Nordstrom. It's like, you know. It's got, it's like white with letters on it that have flowers. I changed into sweatpants, if you could see those. I don't think you can. Okay, I'm trying. And I have socks on, but they're mismatched. See, this one's pink and like argyle. And this one is not. This one's just gross. Question two is, have you ever been in love? Yes. Twice. Um, I, once with a boy from school who I never dated, but that's another story for another time. And right now, with unfortunately someone who's never gonna know I exist, but oh well, life is hard sometimes. Question three, ever had a terrible breakup? Not really, like, ninth grade kind of, because I really liked the boy I was dating back then and I was pretty upset, but other than that, my other two have been, you know, They've been okay, for me at least, because I've been the one who's broken one. Question four is how tall are you? I am about 5'6". I think I'm actually 5'5", five five, but, you know, I like to round. And then question five is how much do you weigh? And I weigh about 135 pounds. Question six, any tattoos? No. I hate needles. Like, I hate needles. And then question seven is any piercing? My ears used to be pierced, but I, when I was like 10, um, they got really infected and every time I tried to put the earrings in, they would get all bloody, which was disgusting, um, because I guess I wasn't cleaning my ears well enough, but yeah, so I kind of let them close. Question 8. Who is your OTP? Larry Stylinson. Sometimes it's better not to ask questions. 9. Favorite show? Law & Order SVU. I swear by that show, like, yeah. By the way, Benson and Stabler forever! 10. Favorite bands. Um, The Clash has been one of my favorite bands since I was probably about, ew, there was a hair in my mouth. Anyways, probably since I was about 13 or 14. Um, I'd say more like 14. So for about three years. And then, Five Seconds of Summer, and there's another one that we don't really mention in public. Um, but they're kind of, you know, a big, they're kind of a big band, you know, there's five of them, if you see where I'm going. And then I also like Westlife, um, Take That, like, do you see where I'm going with this? There's, there's kind of a pattern here. Question 11, something you miss. Um, I, I miss Swim Team. Because when I was younger, I, well not when I was younger, up until like, I think 8th grade, I swam 9 years year round and, you know, it just took up a lot of my time. Um, and it was really a great sport and, you know, I got to go to Junior Olympics and everything, but I just kind of needed a break and once I got into high school, because I did high school swim team as well, but once I got into high school, you know, ninth grade, 10th grade, I did crew and you know, uh, track and water polo, so I was kind of branching out. I'd say I also miss speed skating because that was really, really fun and I wish I had stuck with it longer. 12. Favorite song. And my favorite song at the moment is She Looks So Perfect by Five Seconds of Summer. 13. How old are you? I am 17. That took me a second because six hours of sleep is fun for everybody. Yay! Zodiac sign. I am a Leo. I was gonna try and do a lion thing, but I just decided against it. I used my better judgment for once. Quality you look for in a partner? Oh my god. Confidence. 
if a guy is not com I cannot stress enough like if a guy is not confident it's not attractive for me at least like a guy needs to be confident not too much confidence because that just kind of you know you become a bit of an asshole favorite quote so my favorite quote at the moment is from a book called the madonnas of echo park by brando skyhorse and the quote is cons make the best letter writers because inside every man is a poet you just have to throw him in jail to find out yes i just love that quote i don't know why but I think it's a good one. Good job, Brando Skyhorse. Favorite actor. I wonder who my favorite actor could be. It's definitely not obvious from my phone lock screen. Oh god, it just blacked out. Yeah, it's Leonardo DiCaprio. Favorite color? Probably pink. That's really vague. But it's just been, it's been pink since I was like, basically since I knew what colors were. So I don't have like a specific shade of pink. Sometimes I'll see a shade of pink and be like, oh, I like that one. But then, yeah, just kind of, it's, it's pink. Just, if it's pink, I'll probably like it. Loud music or soft? Um, I'd have to say it depends on, like, the instance. If I am at a party or, you know, maybe at a restaurant or if I'm just, like, jamming out by myself in my room alone, which is what I do 99.999999% of the time, I prefer it to be loud, but if I'm in the car and I'm trying to sleep, or if I'm trying to sleep with just like fall asleep to music, um, or if it's really quiet around, I prefer soft. But and it also depends on what kind of music I'm listening to. Like if I'm listening to the 1975. I forgot to mention them as one of my band's favorite bands. By the way, they're one of my favorites too. I saw them in DC. In November, I believe it was November or October, and it was, oh my god, they were so good. Maddie Healy touched me. Oh god, Maddie Healy touched me. But yeah, I'd have to say it kind of depends on what genre, you know? Because obviously listening to, like, um, music, like workout music, really soft is not going to give you the full effect. Where do you go when you're sad? Twitter. How long does it take you to shower? Um... This is going to be really, this sounds horrible, especially because I took an AP Environmental Science. But it takes me like an average of 25 minutes. I know, I know, I'm killing the environment. I'm draining the Chesapeake Bay. And the, the reason the Potomac is so disgusting is because of people like me who deprive it of all of its beautiful natural... Ooh, a bird just flew outside my window. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? On a good day, like 20 minutes. On every other day, at least an hour. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Does your brother count? Because if yes, then yes. Turn on would have to be... I like a really good smile and really good eyes. Like, and dimples. Dimples. <laughs> also, um, like I said earlier, confidence. If you're all, if you're like all around a nice person, you know, if you can... Obviously nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. You live and you learn it again and again till you get... This is why I don't have friends and why I need to turn to the internet to, to make people like me. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Um, if you're easy to get along with, have a sense of humor, and then turn off, again, like I said earlier, a lack of confidence. The reason I joined YouTube. Um, I joined YouTube about three years ago. I have an old channel that I stopped uploading videos. To. I decided to retry BookTube. This is like the third time I've redone it. Who knows what could happen, right? And I've been watching BookTube for so long, I just figured that it would be fun. So yeah. Fears. Um, I am extremely claustrophobic. I hate elevators. I don't like bridges. I don't like waves. Um, the dark freaks me out, too. Um, slasher films are horrifying, and they make me throw up. Also, vomit is... I'm scared of that. I'm basically scared of any, like, human bodily function, even though I'm a lifeguard and I've had to, you know clean up my fair share of those. Um, oh, uh, strange men on the subway, strange men on the bus. I'm actually afraid of a lot of things, aren't I? Hmm. Okay. The last thing that made you cry. It was an episode of SVU. Last time you said you love someone, um, that would have to be to my best friend. Because, you know, we t we're just like, we tell each other we love each other every day. Like, hey girl, I love you. Illy, love ya. You know, that kind of stupid stuff. Um, but, yeah. My best friend. My Meaning behind your YouTube name. So I tried to kind of play off of the word bibliophile, which obviously is someone who loves to read and loves books. Um, but I did the bibliophiles with an F instead of a PH, because, you know, P 
ph f f f f yeah okay anyways um so i kind of did like a little play on the word like bibliophiles because you know files are like recordings of something and my videos are a recording of my experience in the booktube world so the bibliophiles yeah yay for a plus for creativity that a plus this is a plus last book you read the Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon, and I read it in about a day. I finished it yesterday. It was phenomenal. I'll do a review on it probably later, but this was honestly one of my favorite books I've like ever read at this point. And I've, I've actually read a lot of books, believe it or not. The book you are currently reading. Oh god, I have to get out of it. Love and Other Perishable Items by Laura Buzo. Buzo? Last show you watched. Do you want to take a guess? Because it starts with an S-V-U. Ha! Huh. Actually starts with an L. Law and order. Last person you talked to. The last person I talked to was probably my dad. Or my mom. It was one of my parents, I don't know. The relationship between you and the last person you texted. Um... My ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Moving on. Favorite food? I would have to- Oh god, this is hard. I don't want to be like stereotypical and be like anything with chocolate in it, but unfortunately it kind of is anything with chocolate in it, but I don't know. I don't, like I have favorite food groups, cheese, chocolate cheese, that sounds, I've had chocolate cheese before. It's really, really good. Let's say chocolate cheese, dark chocolate cheese. If you live in the US and you have a Trader Joe's, go see if they have dark chocolate, sharp white cheddar because damn, damn, yeah, that was good stuff. Place you want to visit. Um. If we're going off of places I've already been, Germany, because I really, really... I was in Germany two years ago, and I really loved it. Based off of places I haven't been, I want to go to Austria really badly, because it just seems like such a cool country. I'd kind of like to visit the heartland of the U.S. Like, I've been through parts of it, but I just think... I don't know, because I've always grown up, like, basically in a city. So, I just think it would be interesting to see such a different part of, like, the same country that I live in. By heartland, I mean, like, the Midwest. Um... But yeah, I think that would be really interesting to just take a road trip like straight through it. Straight. Last place you were. I was at Whole Foods in Tenley Town. Yay, food. Do you have a crush? I have several. Basically at one any given moment I will have several. Last time you kissed someone. Three months ago? Last time you were insulted. About 45 minutes ago by my loving, dear little brother. Oh little brother, how I... Love and hate you so at the same time. Same. Favorite flavor of sweet or candy? White chocolate. Yes, mama, white chocolate. Oh, dear God. Thank you to the person who came up with the idea for white chocolate, because it is just... What instruments do you play? I don't play any. I used to play the drums um, in elementary school, and I actually went to band camp, funny story, when I was 10 for... It was like band camp, music camp, um, but yeah, I used to play the drums, and of course, like, the, uh, not, the recorder, the recorder, and then I went to Catholic school, and we played something called the flutophone, which maybe is like a weird version of a recorder, it was basically the same thing. Favorite piece of jewelry? It's this orange flower necklace that I got when I was about seven, and I wore it to my brother's godfather's wedding, but I can't find it right now, unfortunately. Last sport you played? I hurdle, so hurdling, track, running. Last song you sang, um, I will tell you right now. Diana by One Direction. Favorite chat up line, I hate them all. Have you ever used it? No, because I hate them all. Last time you hung out with anyone, um, a couple days ago, like Thursday, I hung out with my friends. Who should answer these questions next? I think all of you should. I'm not going to tag anyone yet because this is only my second video. Um, but yeah, I think if any of you guys see this video and you feel like spreading your lovely lives out onto the internet. But anyways, um, yeah, if any of you guys want to do this tag, then go right ahead. And I will see you later. Bye.